Okay everyone, today's video is about lighting. And you'll see that I'm out here and it's really bright. I'm out here in the forest and I'm in a really cool spot. Now my camera is telling me that I have to put the neutral density filter on because it's so bright and the sun shining in here. And I'm gonna show you what, how it works with the, with the filter on and I'm also gonna show you how it is when it's cloudy because I have a front coming through and it is going to be cloudy and I'm going to shoot in the same place and I'm going to show you exactly how, how light affects your video production. So it's just a few tips to tell you, kind of, kind of give you an idea of what you can do and how to minimize some of these things. So uh, let's see. So next I'm going to put the filter on. Okay, so here's the video and the neutral density filter is on on one level. My professional cameras have two levels of neutral density filters so it does make a difference there are other things you can do is you can use what they call a circular polarizer and what that does is it's a rotational filter that has the polarization uh, on one spot on the round part of the filter and you can rotate it so that if you're if, it, if your sky's too bright or if you shoot over water or something that way you can you can cut down the glare of the water because uh, digital cameras react differently and the camera doesn't see things the way you see it so it really it, it tries to adjust to the light okay so next I'm gonna go show you what it's like to shoot over water okay everyone so here I am I came back couldn't wait around and it really clouded up but we're here in New England so um, kinda had to start the wood stove bring some wood in we are going to get snow they say uh, it's supposed to get really cold and then of course it'll warm up because it is New England and the weather changes. So you can see the difference. It's a lot grayer out here. Um, this is really overcast and you can see see the sky and you can see the uh, the remains of the chimney from the house here and the water pump. And you can see how things are a little grayer and it's a lot more sharp. And this is without, without using any kind of filter. So I think it's really good. You can see, really see the difference here. So we'll go over to the where I was at the water, and uh, we'll see how that came out. Okay. Okay, everyone. Now you can see that I'm, I'm shooting over water, and it's really bright. So this is without a neutral density filter. And yes, this is where you could use your circular polarizer, because it would take the top of this, top of the sky here in the water, and make a big difference on, on your production, because it would... It would cut down that glare and the light that you're getting. So I'm going to put the filter on. You'll see there's a little difference, but you can only get so much. The other thing is, make sure on a day like today, this is a windy day, that you have a windscreen on your um, microphone. Now I have what they call, they call it the dead cat. It's a real fuzzy thing. It goes over the foam part of your camera they have them for your video camera for the onboard camera today I'm using a shotgun microphone because it's a little easier and uh, it, it gets me and eliminates some of the noise so okay so we'll go try the filter here's the difference with the filter on uh, it's a little bit better you understand how, how light has a, a problem um, and you just got to kind of kind of work it you know uh, using a dark background you can see the difference. I'll show you what a dark background is in just a second here, and you'll see how much better and, and how crisper the video can be. Okay, hang on. Okay, everybody, I'm back here uh, down at the water here at uh, Beaver Dam Marsh, and as you can see, there's a difference in the lighting big time. Um, it's, it's really, really overcast now, and I'm pretty dark. I can tell just looking through the monitor myself um, there was a difference when I loaded the footage and you could see that one part of my face was really bright and one part of my face you couldn't see because it was too dark. But uh, this is the difference. My camera still wants the uh, neutral density filter on, so I have the neutral density filter on. Um, let me just take it off for a second we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so here it is. It's telling me I should do it. Uh, your professional cameras tell you when you need your filter on. But uh, I just, just for you to be aware and see how much of a difference there is uh, when it's cloudy. And uh, as I said, when it's cloudy, you always get great footage. Uh, so I hope you liked everything, and I hope you see the difference. I'll put titles up here. And, um, and uh, keep on making videos. And just be a little more aware of where you're, 
where you're standing and where you have your people or where you have your subject or how bright it is and you'll get a better production. So here I am, I'm kind of shooting in a darker background. I'm still in the light, but you can see there's a big difference here that uh, picking your background really, really makes a difference and, and for you to be aware of your lighting. And we'll see if we can find an even darker one and you see how much better the video comes out. Okay, hang on. Okay, you see I'm in a much darker place and you can see how the, how the lighting really makes a difference. This is what you want to look for. You always want to be able to have a darker background where you really stand out. So, uh, I mean, I like being in the forest, so it's a really good example. It gives me uh, great spots to be able to do this. And, uh, and that's it. So we'll see, we'll see if I can find one more and then and see if I can find an even darker spot. And then you'll see the difference in the light. Okay, thanks. Okay, everyone. So this is about the darkest spot I could find today. You know, maybe be a little more, but uh, all the leaves are gone on the trees now. So it's not as easy as it, it could be. But um, here it is. And I'm trying to get this dark background. And I'm hoping you see the contrast in the colors. Uh, and how crisp it is and this is without the neutral density filter on so this is pretty much what the, what you're gonna get so uh, I hope you like the video it's more about you being aware what's uh, what's going on and how to control your light a cloudy day is always a better day if it's overcast your videos are gonna come out killer um, this is just how it is it's how the camera reacts so you can do it uh, big puffy clouds where it's kind of mixed you can get pretty good uh, you can get pretty good effects too um, just uh, be aware sometimes you might need a filter sometimes it's a little bright and it just depends on what you want to do and and what you're trying to get so this is Bob Jacko digital marketer I want to thank you for watching this video and uh, and that's it okay goodbye